بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو اسلامک اسٹڈیز نوٹس ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ دا کلاسیفیکیشن آف احادیث اکارڈنگ ٹو دا نمبر آف رپورٹرس دا احادیث آر سم ٹائمز گریڈیڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا نمبر آف نریٹرس دیر از وی چیک in each stage or generation how many narrators narrated some hadith it can be classified into the general categories of mutawatir and ahad first we see what mutawatir ahadith are it means which is reported by such a large number of people that they cannot be expected to agree upon a lie all of them together this definition has some points it is narrated by large number of people at least 10 which means that in the generation of ashab the number reporting the ahad the uh, certain hadith should be 10 and then at least 10 and then in tabeen it should be at least 10 and in taba tabeen it should be at least 10 this number should remain same in all the groups the next point of the mutawatir hadith definition is logically it is impossible that they all agree upon some false hadith and the base of their news is senses that is it is necessary for the sahaba to have listened and seen the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam do something next comes the kinds of mutawatir ahadith the first is mutawatir by practice or mutawatir manwi and the second is mutawatir by words or mutawatir lafzi by practice we mean what prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had practiced and reached us through tawatur and mutawatir by words mean the verbal ahadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that reach us through tawatur Mutawatir by practice has examples of um, five daily prayers, zakat, fasting or hajj, or rafaya dan fit dua, or the recitation of the Qur'an-i Hakim. All these practices of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that reached us through Tawatur, that he used to do all these things in such and such a way. Mutawatir by wordings, the example for this is one of the hadiths which says Man ta'amada alayya kathiban falyatabawwa maq'adahu minan nar Whoever tells a lie against me intentionally, then surely let him occupy his seat in hellfire. This hadith is narrated by at least 62 ashab or companions and is widely known by the muslims the status of this hadith the mutawatir hadith is it is accepted completely and we will not investigate it next comes ahad or khabar e wahid it is the second type of the classification of hadith according to the number of reporters a hadith ahad or khabar e wahid is the one which is narrated by people whose number does not reach that of the mutawatir case the people in each generation you have to keep this in your mind the generation of the ashab the tabeen and taba tabeen in each generation the number of people does not reach that of the mutawatir case 
for example as well we studied this in matawatir a hadith that the number of narrators in each generation is at least 10 which meant that the number of reporters in each generation of the ashab and then the tabin and then the taba tabin will be at least 10 in each of the generation the khabari ahad is divided into three kinds al mashhur al aziz and al gharib So the first type that comes under Khabri Wahid or Ahad Ahadis are Al Mashhur, which means well known. This is a hadith transmitted by three or more transmitters in every stage. But by more it means it remains nine. Because when it becomes at least ten, it will go in the classification of Mutawatir Hadith. So here the hadith transmitted by three or more transmitters that is from three to nine in number in every stage but if only one or two reporters are found narrating a hadith from a reliable authority such as al zohri and qatada the hadith will remain either gharib or aziz which we will study in the coming lecture on the other hand, if a group of people that is from 3 to 9 in number, from them it will be known as Mashhur. Such as the saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Inna allaha la yaqbidul ilman tiza'an yantazi'un min, min al-nasi wa lakin yaqbidul ilma bi qabdil ulama. Verily, Allah does not take away knowledge by snatching it from the people, but He takes away knowledge by taking away the scholars. This hadith is Aziz in its first stage, but later it becomes Mashhur as seven people report it. Next comes Al Aziz, which literally means rare or strong. Technically, if at any stage in the Isnad only two reporters are found to narrate a hadith, then it is Al Aziz. For example, the hadith La yu minu ahadukum hatta akuna ahabba ilayhi min walidihi wa walidihi wa nasi ajmain. Let me explain this to you again. Two people, Qatada and Abdul Aziz bin Shu'aib, reported from Hazrat Anas Razil Tala Anhu. Then, Shauba Saeed, he narrates from Qatada. And two people again. Let me say A and B. A report from Abdul Aziz bin Shu'aib. So, two reporters report this hadith from Anas. There are Katada and Abdul Aziz bin Shu'aib. And two more reporters narrate from each of them. There is Shu'aib Saeed and then Ismail bin Ulayya and Abdul Waris. Spelling mistake, it's Abdul Waris. Okay, I hope it is clear. The third kind of Khabri Ahad is Al Gharib, which literally means scarce or strange. And if an Asnad had a single narrator, in stage of companions or in any stage, it is called Gharib. It has only one reporter. For example, the Hadith 
which is very famous in namal amalu binniyat in namal amalu binniyat this is is not of this hadith contains only one reporter in each stage so this hadith is hadith gharib now we come to the status of these ahadith that is the ahadith mashhoor aziz and gharib it depends on investigation or it need investigation if it has continuous chain and reliable people then we will accept it this is the end of the lecture i hope you understood it inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh